I really want to break down everything you just said, but let's start with what you said about the definition of the Republican Party. Trump has his own definition. As you said, Chris Christie has his own. DeSantis is emerging with a third message. Do you think, what do you think is the current state of the GOP? Do you think the Republican Party right now is sort of having this identity crisis? Do they know who they are? Well, it's a great question. I think the party's in flux, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because in flux means it's open to all sorts of ideas uh, to come into play. And uh, you, you've seen the governor from Florida who's been very strong on some of the cultural themes. Um, you know, he has a, a record where he took on uh, Disney, who is trying to uh, have a, a say in the curriculum in uh, K through 12 in Florida. Uh, he's taken on those who he feels are somewhat soft on crime. He's taken on uh, those in higher education, frankly, that uh, you know have made it less comfortable for conservatives or people who are more conservative, whether they be students or parents or teachers, uh, to to be a part of that academic family. Um, and I think those things play universally throughout the base. Uh, but the base itself, you know, we always hear about MAGA, right? It's always about that base, right? That's not only an ideological base, Brittany, because I think the personality and the persona of the former president is a big part of that base. It's, and, and, and I think people say, well, isn't, you know, can someone get to the right of Donald Trump? And will that make a dramatic difference? I think Donald Trump is a unique, is a unique phenomenon. And I think getting to the right or left of him is less important then showing you can go toe to toe, not just with the former president, but with the you know, the real issues that are in front of us. And I think you saw some toughness, for instance, uh, when Nikki Haley uh, was on the CNN town hall recently. I mean, toughness. I haven't seen that uh, that grade of toughness from her before. Uh, certainly, you're getting that from the governor of Florida. You're getting that. You'll get that from Chris Christie. <laughs> no question. And there's there's also no question the former president brings it. I think toughness is a big part of this. It's being criticized, by the way, by some uh, in mainstream media. They're saying, isn't that too tough? I think these are tough times. And you might say a lot of these candidates on the on the Republican side are betting that what we, Americans are looking for is a tough leader. And I think I think that's a common theme. And the other thing, just to your question, I think the Republican Party is morphed. And in a very short period of time, from being the party of big business uh, to the party of the working class. And that is a fundamental shift, which a couple of years ago, no one saw, which is why there were all these predictions, Brittany, about a demographic shift that maybe would lead to a almost a permanent democratic majority, which I always laugh when I hear, oh, this is this is going to happen. And the rest for the rest of the time, that's the way it's going to be. And then six months later, it completely changes. But that was the thinking um, that this party is starting to move towards a working class more decidedly than ever, which I think was something that Democrats had a, a good kind of uh, hold on for, for decades. And so that's that's kind of a changing dynamic here. I think the governor of Florida and others hit that particular theme very well, and they have been on that uh, for for certainly not just a matter of months, but a matter of years. I remember the day after the midterms of 2022, just a few months ago, the New York Post had this cover and it said "De future and it had Ron DeSantis and his family. There was an American flag behind it and he was looking extremely presidential yes. and he was touted as you know, really a presidential con top contender there. But in recent months between his feud with Disney as well, maybe leading into these culture issues, some cr critics are saying a little too hard. Many in his own party are reportedly saying he's a paper tiger. Do you agree with that characterization? Oh my gosh, he ran one of the most, uh, one of the biggest and most important states in the country. He did it through COVID. He went against the grain when it came to COVID and keeping the state open. The economy there is uh, is rocking it. There's been in-migration of a, of a couple hundred thousand a year for the last couple of years. I think people, you know, uh, when they show where, they, where they're really at, they do that with their feet as much as they do their hearts and their minds. Uh, and look at it, you have to look at his total record. He came out of the box as governor with landmark uh, judi uh, criminal justice reform, record funding for the Everglades and the environment, 
record funding for education. He checks all those boxes too, but it's just the last couple of months where everyone's been hearing about more of the conservative bona fides of Governor DeSantis. I can tell you, it doesn't play well in some quarters, but in the Republican Party, in the base of the party, I think it plays very well.